This is another hot question that we normally get asked by a lot of people. We totally understand this question because when someone wants to take up and when you want to take up data science, you want to make use of that skill that you have learned because it's obviously not easy to understand and also to pick up data science. So this question here, what is the career potential of a data scientist and specifically in Malaysia? Is Malaysia too slow or are we there? How could someone get into becoming a data scientist right here in Malaysia? If you talk about too slow, right, in terms of adapting data science, you can see that we have a lot of tech companies, tech startups and MNCs. They start to adapt data science and integrate those data science decision-making process in their workflows as well. There is definitely a lot of openings in data scientists right now. If you don't intend to become a data scientist, right, you can still work in data science, for example, like data analyst, data engineer, machine learning engineer, and there are a lot of positions. Data scientist is more towards like broader skill sets or generalists, and there are other specialized positions as well. The market is good, increasing number of jobs. I believe that we have more than two to three times companies hiring data science positions compared to last year or the year before. If companies are also slowly to adopt data science and also the importance of data analytics within a company, the demand would definitely increase and if we look at our government agencies looking to increase the number of data professionals, have they hit their target? No, definitely not. Well, give and take, we have trained about 5,000 in total. Do you think that we have more people onboarding digitalizations and move their business online or less people, Ruben? Definitely think there are more people going in. Yeah. But we are moving at a not very, very fast rate, I would say. Even like speaking from a marketing point of view, right? You you must have seen that a lot more people are trying to increasing customer acquisition costs on Facebook, etc. Yeah. And that's, that's because people are moving towards online marketing and digital platform, right? And that's another sign that we are going to generate a lot of data. When 5G is arriving like next year or the year after, and we are going to have a lot more data. And these are unstructured data that's from sensors and from different activities as well so definitely to put it into a nutshell what Dr. Lau is saying is as more and more companies organizations and people are moving into digitalization that means there will be more need and help needed for data collection that means there's a huge growing opportunity for people who can manage and work around data which are you aspiring data scientists and data professionals